Hey, Grand Dizzy here. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I hope there's not a whole lot of noise around here. But um, do you guys remember this video right here? It, it, it's, it, it's not going anywhere, guys. If I would have done this when I... Uh, look at this. I can swing it up all day long and it's not going anywhere. And I... Well, <laughs> let's just say things didn't go well as planned. And give me a minute, let me explain myself to you, okay? And you know why I said that uh, the, um, the chin mount failed. And also, stay tuned to this video because I want to give you my safety hack that actually saved my camera or could have saved my camera. And then I want to give you the solution for this problem. Also, why I want to give chin mount a second chance. So basically, this is what happened here. That video was made, let's just pick up a day. Let's just say Monday. Video was made on Monday. And I went out for a ride on Tuesday. Okay? Now, mind you, chin mount require you to, after you install this uh, piece on there, they require you to leave it for 24 hours. I left this for like two weeks because I was busy working. So that alone should give it plenty of time to do its job or i don't know maybe when i did a video i might i put a lot of stress on it but hey they have a full video on their website where they hook up a dumbbell which is i believe 12 or 10 pounds to it this helmet guys it doesn't even weigh i don't know three pounds four pounds the most maybe so i really don't know what happened but there is a funny uh, conversation that went on between me and Chin Mao, and I will uh, share that with you. But let me explain to you exactly what happened. So, pick up a day. Let's just say I um, installed this on Monday, and I took it for a ride on Tuesday, right? It was a very long ride. I would say maybe two hours. Less than two hours, but let's just say two hours. I went and did uh, some vlogging and um, ride around. So right after my filming was done, I shut, I shut down everything and I had my way home. Now, the way I mount my uh, camera, I have it in a frame where you can see it in the visor. So as I was riding down the road, I realized I don't see no camera on the visor. I kind of like, Ooh, what the hell happened? So I kind of uh, moved my hand, put it right on my helmet, and I said, oh, there it is. And I'm gonna show you exactly what it was doing. This is my helmet. <laughs> and this is the camera. So as I was riding, it went like this. It was hanging on like that, right? I don't want to leave it because now the, um, the adhesive is very weak. So I don't want to leave it. I don't want to drop the camera. Actually, it's not even going to drop. You saw it hanging anyway. So right here, it's not going to drop. And this is what I was talking about. I will share this with you. I have shared this with you guys in that video. And I'm going to share with you why you need this on your helmet. All right, let's get back to business. So it went off like this and it was hanging just like this. So I said, oh my God, thank God I didn't lose the camera. So I push it back against where it needs to be. And as I rode the road, I rode down the road, maybe one, two minutes later, it came loose again. And I slapped it back on. So my initial thought was, oh, the screws here, or what you would call a, a thumb, a thumb screw or a thumb, um, screws I, I don't use the thumb screws okay whatever that came with it I think it looks very ugly to me so I, I just don't use it I use these uh, screws that came with the stuff that I actually purchased from um, Amazon this is just my own opinion um, but yeah I don't use those ones I use this one because it's very minimalist and I think it, it looks very clean and nice so my thought process was uh, maybe one of the screws came loose so when I get home, I'm going to grab my screwdriver and tighten it up because it's a, it's a Phillips screwdriver. So 
I managed to get uh, bring it home, and uh, once I get home, I went straight inside my studio, uh, dropped the helmet, and as soon as I grabbed the screwdriver, I realized that it was not the screws. It was actually the chin mount. And I know I don't know if you can see it very well. This is exactly how it looked like. Ah, this camera here. This is exactly how it was looking like. And I say, what the hell? I was extremely disappointed. So I grabbed my phone and emailed Chimon right away. Showed him some pictures. I took about three pictures with him, which I'm about to share with you right now. I sent those email and those pictures to Chinmount explaining to them what had happened and they were very responsive guys extremely responsive they got back to me like around three o'clock in the morning and um, apologize for what had happened and also um, they point out something extremely funny which I thought it was very weird all right now they telling me this is according to Chin Mound. They telling me that uh, per my photos that I sent to them, I had installed the mount wrong, and I'm like, what? They telling me that this Chin Mound engravement here, I don't know if you guys can see, is supposed to be on the left side. But guys, I don't know how you're looking at this on the screen. This. It's facing on the left side. This is my left. It's right here. It's your right. It's my left. I mean, it's it's right here. So I say, what? So, long story short, they apologized. And they were going to send me a new adhesive. So I can remount it. And they send me a whole detailed instructions on how to reinstall it. I'm like, this is not a rocket scientist. But at least they own it and um, they sent me those uh, three adhesive. I don't have those yet. But my initial thought was, you know what? Forget about this. I was going to use a super glue because I have seen some few guys like Blackhead, uh, Chase uh, on two wheels and, you know, a few other guys. And, you know, they have a, a lot of helmets. And anytime they do their uh, motor vlogging setup, they actually mount this on there permanently. It's not a chain mount they use. They use one of those cheap ones that come from uh, Amazon or elsewhere. But um, they mount it like permanently using like uh, some kind of super glue and some other stuff, which if I find the name, I'll put a name on, uh, on, um, under the link. But that's what they use. So I'm, I'm like, you know what? Just forget about this. Let me just go find me a, a super glue and then just put it there and then just mount it on top here and just make it permanent. But then when they mentioned that they were going to send me a new adhesive, I said, hold on. I'm not going to do this to damage um, the mount because actually, guys, I, I love the mount, but I think it's too damn overpriced. That's just my own opinion. So... Um, they put it in the mail. I don't have it yet, but I do have. Let me remove the camera from this um, thing here. So actually, I don't grab the camera. Yep. All right. So this is the mount. This is the chin mount thing that I was talking about. This is about thirty-five dollars. This is ridiculous. Okay. And they have this little adhesive here, but they uh, 3D print it and um, it's very steady, but it failed. So here's my solution. Instead of me waiting for them to bring me those adhesive, they say they, uh, they're not going to send me one, not two, but three. So I can have some for in case of emergency. So I said, okay. But this is the engravement that I was talking about. They were telling me, I don't know if you guys can see it. They were telling me that this is supposed to be facing on the left side, which it was. So I don't know what they're talking about. So we are going to install this together here. And these are the kind of stuff that I bought from Amazon. Very, very cheap. It has pretty much everything that you need in here to do your 
set up. Like, I don't even know where I went with this. This is like $11 or $10, something like that. This is $35, just one. Everything in here, it has a GoPro mount. By the way, the camera that I'm using is a DJI Action 4, but it's compatible with all the GoPro accessories, pretty much everything, okay? So, everything in here, look at this big ass bag. Less than $15, like $10, $12, $35. You be the judge. So, instead of me waiting for them, I went back to the goodie bag. I call it goodie bag. Look at all these guys. Everything in here came with it. Everything came with it. It's like a, some kind of Lego or something. I don't know. But look at the adhesive that came in the box. And this is the same adhesive that I used to mount my um, my feather, my failsafe thing that I have here. And it's still strong. I don't know because I don't put any weight on it or I just don't know, but it's, it's working. So it's fairly thick. And I wanna use this to remount it back on there and then uh, see how, you know, it's gonna hold up while I wait for them because I cannot ride my bike with this hanging on like that. And I don't wanna damage it by using a, a super glue or anything like that. So we're gonna uh, do this together and I hope the camera here, it's in a very good angle. Um, we have to remove this, this thing right here, the old adhesive. It's coming off pretty, actually the way I stick it on here, it's, it's stuck, man. It, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It just came uh, separated from the um, the plastic itself. So I really don't know exactly what happened. But, you know, they're telling me I mounted wrong, which really doesn't make sense to me. But if you guys think um, I did it wrong, just leave a comment below. Uh, we are here to learn. Um, so... I want to give it a, a second chance and the reason being is um, they're telling me I mounted wrong and then I think everybody deserves a second chance. I think it's nice but it's just way overpriced to me um, but I want to give it a second chance uh, just to just try it out again okay because I love it. It's very steady and um, yeah we're gonna do it and I'm probably gonna check in few months to let you guys know how it's holding up if it's trash then I'll tell you that it's trash so don't don't even waste your hard-earned money on it but if it holds up and uh, maybe it was a defect unit or it, it, it been on the shelf for so long or whatever the case whatever happened you know I'll, I'll, I'll share with you guys so we're gonna you know install this together now this is way bigger than the chin mount yeah man that thing is way bigger look at it it's like half of it um should i cut it into two or just leave it it's it's big i'll just leave it it's gonna it's gonna look ugly look at how it's gonna look like it's gonna look ugly let me put it this way See. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna grab me a scissors and cut it. All right, I'm back. I'm back, guys. I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna grab me a scissors. Um, can you see it from here? angle and I'm gonna cut it cut it that was easy easy peasy yep so I cut it and we're gonna mount this on here we're gonna reinstall this whole thing put it 
exactly how they, you know, the instruction says. They want you to, after you do the installation, they want you to wait for at least 24 hours. And also, if you can put some kind of pressure while you wait for the 24 hours. So what I did last time, I think I'm gonna take a little clip of video so I can show you. I just, you know, put a uh, thing upside down like that and uh, just use some, you know, bottles to chuck it up and then let it stay there for 24. Hours. It was way more than 24 hours, but again, who knows? Now, the only thing that I don't have here is, uh, what's the name? Well, let's grab the alcohol wipes and let's try to clean up the, uh, the surface. wipes I'm gonna use this I'm gonna clean both very thoroughly let's clean it if this don't work then that's it man you only get one chance with me one chance I can't believe they're telling me that um, I mounted wrong. Like, it's supposed to be on the left side. I don't know if they meant like right side, but it, it, it looks the same. It's the same shape. So I have no clue what they're talking about. So we're gonna redo it. Pretend like nothing happened. Um. Yep. All right. We're gonna use um, this heat gun to dry it up a little bit. We're doing this from the scratch, guys. So, we wanna do it the right way, okay? All right, that's a heat gun. I don't think you need it, but if you have it, it helps. Kind of dries it up real quick. I'm gonna mount this first on the, um, on the helmet. Yeah, I think it's straight. I have an OCD, so everything needs to be perfect. Yeah, it needs to be perfect. I think it looks good. Okay, let's just do this. All right. Come off. Come on, can do it. There it is. So, what I normally do is, um, I hit it with a, a heat gun, just a bit. Don't do it too much to burn it up, okay? <laughs> or melt it, just, just enough, just enough. So, all right, and I'm gonna grab this. Let's grab the helmet. Hope you guys can see. This is very clean. And this is one time, guys. You cannot do it multiple times. Or else. Come on. Yep, you gotta do it one time and make sure it's in the middle perfectly. Perfectly sent it in the middle. You don't want your footage to be crooked uh, off to the side. Yep. It took a little bit, but uh, I think it's perfectly centered. Yeah, like I said, I have a I have an OCD, so. And my good old light strips is, you know, it's coming off here in the front. But um, it looks very, very, you know, firm and stern. It ain't going nowhere. And whatever they're gonna send to me, I'ma just, you know, hold it up in the mail. I mean, hold it up in the house, just in case. I don't understand why they're telling me that we're gonna send you three. So that means they know it's the damn thing is gonna fall off again or what? I don't know. Excuse my French. So, we're gonna mount this. 
Let me remove the second portion. And it's funny how, remember you guys, I told you uh, my old GoPro that I lost? This was what I had on there. Actually, the original one that came with GoPro was what I had on there. And that damn thing held up for a very, very long time until I bought this chin mount and I removed it. It stays. It didn't go nowhere. I think it's off to the side just, just a little bit, but it's okay. Alright, so they're telling me left side, let's just try the right side, how about that? This is the, um, the uh, engravement, we're going to put it on the right side. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfect. Yep. So it's on. As you guys can see, I flip it up. It used to be on the left, uh, the left side, which is my right and your left. And they're telling me it was supposed to be on the left side. So this time around, I put it on the right side. Okay. Now, I don't know if it makes any difference, honestly, because when I, when I look at um, the cone, the shape, it looks the same. So I don't know why they're telling me to leave it on the left side or the right side. It just don't make sense to me. But this time around, I flip it up, okay? So we're going to see how long this is going to hold up, okay? Now... Let me tell you guys something. After I'm done with this video, I'm gonna leave it up in the uh, in the house, and I'm gonna put it upside down, put a weight on it, and just stick it somewhere in the corner for 24 hours. Now, let me show you guys something real quick. Quick, 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 quick. So, remember what happened to me? This is the mount that I built, and everything came from these goodies here it's less than twelve dollars eleven dollars you can copy it if you want to and i'll see if i can leave the link below to for you guys to go purchase it if you want it but um let me tell you guys something so let's just say let's just say hypothetically the camera flew off okay let's just say it flew off Guess what was going to happen? Let me remove this from the cage. Guess what was going to happen? It was going to swing. Okay? The camera and the mount, everything is going to be swinging like that. Okay? Let's just say this is not even strong. My fail safe which I think you should use. You see, with the one that I got from Amazon, it came with one. Actually, two, two of them, it came with it. I don't know if you can see it. Okay? You guys need to install this on your helmet. And you will thank me later. And that is the only reason why I use this mount. Because the mount, it lives on this helmet. It, it don't go nowhere. Once I put this in, this leaves on the helmet permanently just like the handlebar that i have my my b cam that is, that films me that leaves on the camera only thing that i do is i just go ahead and pop the camera off and leave the uh, the mount and the, uh, the cage on there it leaves on there so that one i don't have no fail safe or anything like because it's steady i bought that from kenny motors they specifically made it for my bike because if you look on my my uh, handlebar i don't have a whole lot of room i have my phone mounted on there so i don't have a whole lot of room to mount like extra stuff to hold my camera so um 
Kemimoto, what they did, they created this little piece. Uh, I'll show you guys maybe. I'll see if I can show it in the photo. But it goes on top of my um, my brake reservoir. It doesn't affect the integrity of the bike or the brakes or anything like that nature. Okay, that's so amazing. So that stays on there. This one, when I come or when I go to work or anywhere, I just take my camera um, and then I leave the rest. If you want to come take it, go ahead and take it. All right. So it leaves on there just like my my Cardo intercom system. Okay. So please try to use this as your fail safe because had I known this, I wouldn't have lost my GoPro. Although I was complaining about it, I didn't like how to use it and all that. I didn't like how uh, I didn't like the way it functions, and the usability was just you know I just didn't like it. But if I would have known about this, I would still have my GoPro. Okay, but we learned the hard way. And then open a new door so I can teach you guys because without this and God forbid if this would have just fall off completely guess what is gonna happen I will completely lost my camera this is almost uh, I don't know $450 or whatever depending on the, uh, the kind of um, pack package that you go with um, yeah and I'm not ready to lose any kind of investment so this is the end of my um, little installation uh, like I said this stays on there once I um, install this I already have the um, the magnet let me show you guys and this is one thing that GoPro needs to learn okay and any other action cam this is a magnet and these are clips and Inside the clip, they have a magnet. So all you got to do is just stick it on, and then it stays. Look at that. That's how easy it is. And if you want to take it off, all you got to do is just squeeze these, these two clips, and then just remove it. Whoever came up with this technology, DJI, this is just amazing, man. With the GoPro, let me show you how it looked like. I don't like these thumb uh, screws. You see why I told you guys I don't like it? See how big it is? See? And then once you put it on, you have all these extra stuff hanging around here. So these came in the package, the cheap one. And it's so simple, very minimalist, and it looks cool to me, all right? Look at it. But see the difference? You go, you know, you go figure it. But basically, if if this was the one that was uh, installed on here, and if I have to remove the camera, guess what I have to do? Got to go sit there and look at the time that is taking me to do all this. And sometimes you have to align it and then put it in well. And if you don't do it, it is just so frustrating, guys. This one here, you don't need to you know deal with that. All you got to do. Just make sure um, you align it, and just it just it, it works, okay. When you, you want to remove your camera, you squeeze these two tabs, and then remove it, just like that, just like magic. So I cannot endorse this um, chin mount, guys. I'm just an average consumer. I think it's overpriced. And for what it did, uh, it kind of scared me. But they explained to me, they said that I made a mistake. I did not install it the way it was meant to be installed. So I flipped, I flipped it, I put it on the other side, as you guys can see. And um, I did not wait for the, uh, for the, um, the adhesive because I have plenty of those here. And these ones that I can trust because I have used them here and I have another helmet an old helmet it's still sticking on there it's still there so this one at least I can trust I like the technology the idea the 3d printing I like everything 
and it feels very, very steady. I don't know, maybe I might have put a lot of pressure, but like I said, they have a dumbbell, like 12 pounds or something like that on their website. This is less than five pounds. So there's no way the little flap that I did, the little um, demonstration that I did could have affected the integrity for, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I cannot trust this yet. I'm gonna check in in the next few months and then I'll let you guys know how it's holding up. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, this is Grand Diesel. Just go out there, spread some love, and over and out.